cranberries are just one of a handful of fruits that are native to North America. Before the Europeans arrived, the Native Americans used them for food and medicine. The cranberry vine is well suited to a harsh climate and loves acidic soil that's scarce in nutrients. North American cranberries are ripe for picking in late September. At harvest time, farmers flood their fields to make the cranberries float to the surface. Then, they use a machine called a beater. It generates underwater turbulence, pulling the berries off the vines. The beater is suspended from a mobile bridge that's computer guided to systematically work its way through the entire field. The beta cuts a swathe about seven meters wide with each sweep. Workers move the floating cranberries to one corner of the field. Where a pump transfers them to a waiting trailer. Along the way, the berries get a rinsing to remove branches and leaves. At the factory, the truck unloads its cargo. The cranberries travel along a canal and onto a conveyor belt. Then through a cleaning station, where workers use brushes and water jets to get rid of any remaining leaves and branches. Then they dump the cranberries into large bins to be frozen for up to several months. To produce cranberry juice, frozen berries are defrosted in hot water, then mashed up, skins, seeds and all, into a puree. Special enzymes are added to break up the pectin molecules, making the puree less viscous and therefore easier to press. The press processes eight tons of puree at a time and takes three to four pressing cycles to extract all the juice. The juice then goes through a sophisticated filtration system. The 216 filters remove any plant particles or bacteria larger than one micron. A micron is a thousand times smaller than a millimeter. Water is then evaporated until the juice is ten times more concentrated. Cranberries not destined for juice go through a grading process. Undersized berries drop down through the holes of a giant sifter. The bigger cranberries move into the grading table, where workers remove any that are substandard. An electronic sorter then scans the remaining cranberries for color, signaling an air gun to blow any reject berries off the production line. The rest move onto the packaging department or continue down the line to be dried. Cranberries destined for drying are automatically seeded, cut in half and pressed, then soaked in a sugar and water solution to make them sweeter. The side-to-side -side motion of the conveyor belt spreads the berries thinly so that they'll dry evenly. The hot air dryer subjects them to temperatures up to 80 degrees Celsius. After about three hours, the cranberries come out looking like this. As you sip your cranberry tea, ponder this. Not only do they taste great and go well with your turkey, Cranberries are also a source of potassium and vitamins A and C.